Oh my gosh, I cut my hair. Hi, and welcome slash welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking down these beautiful braids and I'm so sad to say it, but it's time. It's, it's time. I got these braids back in January in Ghana and it's about to be May, so yeah. You can definitely see let me let me just show you what we're working with here. Listen, I have gray hair. I I know. I know. It's fine. I'm wise. Um you can definitely see like all this new growth and the dirt build up and everything that's just been growing and showing in these roots. So, I'm excited to see my natural hair, but like look 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 at this. Y'all see this? Look at that. Wow. Yay for new growth, but I know there's going to be like I'm expecting, hold on, look at that. I'm expecting to see like a lot of like shed hair and like just hair come out. Like I know, I'm gonna try and keep it to the minimal to the best of my ability, but we're, we're gonna see what happens. So without further ado, let's, let's cut them. These by far are the best braids I have ever gotten in my life. This is my first time doing knotless, so definitely a fan favorite. So I'm gonna be taking you through my process on taking it down, Getting rid of that buildup, that dirt, and we're gonna see my natural hair, and I do miss her. This summer is the summer for styling my natural hair because I need to get better at that. Because I, I really do like my natural hair. I feel like when I went to Ghana, especially, that's when I really, really started to fall in love with my natural hair. I feel like, guys, I don't wanna do this. No, but I have cut my actual hair before when taking out protective style, so I'm gonna try and avoid it this time. But I know, like, we all do the thing where, like, we keep going further and further and further and really what we're just doing is just making the process longer. I'm not trying to do that. Like I know my hair isn't this long but like, come on now. I have to. I have to. What if it grew, you know? <laughs> Ow, it's gotten to the point where like, these braids are su super nice, super gorgeous. But it's gotten to the point where they're like super heavy because they are super long. They're past my butt. Which honestly, they look, they looked so good but like, it hurts now, you know? Like that, the slightest tug, I'm like, ow. Stop. Let me get into this short bob look. Okay, hold on. Let me cut more. Ow. Hold oh, on. Okay, we're all done. This is them. I know I can cut them a little bit shorter, but I like to waste my time, so. I have cut my hair before, guys, and it's literally traumatizing. Okay, so I've just gone in and just, like, cut everything. Guys, it's giving cute. Look at the bob. I don't know why I've never done short, like, like a short bob, braided bob with beads. Because it's cute. Ha. <sighs> oh. Look. Look at. Yeah, okay. Braided bob. That's definitely in the books. Protective hairstyles for next time. The time is currently 11.34. I'm gonna see how long it does take me to take these out. So to take these braids out, I'm actually gonna be using the ORS Hair Lotion. I'm using this so when I take my hair out and I apply products like come out that build up, it doesn't revert back to like its natural curly state making like knots and tangled. So that should help with that. I'm very tender. Very tender scalped. No, I have a very tender scalp. Okay, let's do the first one. <clears throat> yep, yep, I can already tell. This is gonna take me longer. Yep, I just know. Longer than I expected. But because this is my first time doing knotless braids, because I've always done like the braids with the knots, is the process different? Because like I know when I get to like the top of the braid, I just, the knot just slides right out, but I don't know what to. Oh, no. Why do I feel like I cut my hair too short? Hold on, I'm scared here. Please. Oh my gosh, I cut my hair. I had to. I did. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Damn, my hair is long. I underestimated her. That hurts. That hurts. Okay, it's whatever because it grows back. Wow, my hair is long. I really just cut it because like this is the braid this is there I didn't know it was that long damn okay inches here's this shedding that I expected wow I cut my hair I just separate that like clumped part at the top ow yum 
I cut my hair. I mean, it probably needed a trim anyways. That's depressing. So this is the fallout from a single braid. I don't know what to expect here. Cut my hair. I really wanted to save time, so I was like, I'm not gonna, whatever. That's literally my own fault. This is not the first time this has happened, so. I cut my hair. Wow. Why did my hair get that long? Maybe because it's stretched? Because when I went to get my hair braided, I didn't blow dry it before. Like it wasn't stretched or anything. They just braided it how it naturally was. Damn. This is all that gunk in there. So all I'm gonna do is just take my lotion, apply it to the gunk. And then just pull it apart. without using my fingers. So this is a reminder. Give yourself more credit. Give your hair more credit. And don't cut your braids too short. Because I definitely gave myself a unwanted haircut fallout from the second one. Ooh, I'm collecting it. So we're going to see how big it gets. Okay, so I'm going to now speed up the video and come back when I'm at least quarter or halfway done. Okay, so it's about 140 right now. I'm, I'd say one fourth done. Guys, the amount of breakage and just hair I've lost. Remember, I said I've had these braids since January. I'm about one fourth done. And this is what we're dealing with for one fourth of my head. You can see all that. I'm shocked. Like, what? What is this? Why is this? What? Look, this is this is all I've done. I'm scared. I don't know what to expect for when half my head is done, but we'll see. I'm gonna do the rest on camera until we get to about half. So usually my method would be to like unbraid a braid, get the build up out, detangle it, do the same thing, unbraid, detangle. But what I've actually been doing that I think is making me just go a little bit faster is just unbraiding a whole bunch and then detangling them all after. And what's really honestly helping this process go so much smoother is this hair lotion because it's not reverting my hair back and I'm able to just like detangle everything like really smoothly and like no pain at all or minimal pain. I won't say no pain because I have a very tender scalp. So literally everything hurts me. So I'll show you guys a little bit of what that looks like. So that's pretty much the process of what I've been doing. I'm so tired. I've been doing this for so long. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the half and then report back. This is how much we've left. Very much, it's not too many. Okay, we are sitting at the last one before we are officially half. Whew, okay. This is what we are looking right at, looking at right now. Let me zoom out a little. We are literally half and half. I'm half done. The time is now 3.08. 
I started at 11.30. We love that. But guys, this is how much breakage, breakage, like hair just like shedding over the span of four months from half my head. What is this? Like, are you joking? This, this is half my head, half my head. This is my hair, half my head. I don't know what to say about this, guys. The ball just keeps growing. I can't wait to wash my hair. So now that we're at about half, I'm gonna come back when this is completely done. Whew. This hair lotion is keeping me strong. <laughs> But it's nice because like my hair isn't reverting back to like super coiled so it's making the process a lot smoother so yeah we'll come back i finished see you guys soon okay so i have officially finished taking my braids out and guys the amount of just hair that came out of my head while taking this down is actually insane here is the hairball that i collected today like this came out of my head. How? This is literally a whole head of hair came out of my head. I don't know what happened. I hope it's just like shedding and just built up over four months. Cause that's insane. Like that's insane. But yeah, I guess it's time for some extensive hair care. So I will see you guys on wash day and if you're interested to see how I'm going to care for my hair because this is the summer of natural hair because I really want to get into just loving it and just knowing how to style it um stay tuned for my next video um yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more content bye